On this Good Friday, Christians around the globe are recognizing the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ. Religious services are taking place all over the world today, leading up to the resurrection on Easter Sunday. At the Vatican, Pope Francis presided over a Good Friday prayer service at St. Peter's Basilica after recently being released from the hospital for bronchitis. Closer to home, the Diocese of Grand Rapids also held prayer services this afternoon. Catholics have an option to observe Easter services on Saturday night or Sunday morning. And in one West Michigan town, church members commemorated the day by starting a new tradition. 1300 Sides' Elena Holland takes us to Byron Center and shows us how. Members of the Byron Center United Methodist Church took up the cross today, literally, and carried it all through town. This actually happened 2,000 years ago when Jesus carried it. He was in much worse shape than we are and the cross was probably a lot heavier. With a large wooden cross on their back. Step under and okay, there, there you got it on your shoulder. Church members bared the weight. It starts out light and it seems to weigh you down as you walk. And connected to the meaning of the Easter season. I hope that it pulls people away from the bunny, away from the Easter eggs, and puts their mind back into the holiness. Notice it was emotional. A uh, couple of people weeping as, as we carried the cross. This is the first year the church held the event with a new pastor at the pulpit. I want them to experience more than just head knowledge, more than just getting some doctrine. I want them to have an experience. Though this large cross has been part of the church for about 10 years. It was a, made originally from a Christmas tree. And then all the branches were cut off. We took the green part, burned it down into ashes for Ash Wednesday. As the group walked around town, many people took notice and waved or honked at them. I hope it inspires uh, Jesus saying, take up your cross and follow me. The church says they hope to continue this after this year and maybe other people will join in too. Reporting in Byron Center, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.